So this question defines a sequence for us. It tells us that each term in this sequence is equal to twice the term before it minus half of the term before that. So it would be like if I said uh, the temperature today will be twice the temperature from yesterday minus half of the temperature the day before yesterday. And the way that mathematically we would annotate that is uh, you have xn to show the value of the term today on day n. And then you have xn minus 1 to show the value of the term on the preceding day, so the, the previous term. And xn minus 2 would show the term before that. So we can see that in this sequence, each term is defined by the values of the two preceding terms. And again, what we would do is we would double the previous term and then subtract from that half the term before that. And that would give us the value of the current term. Now this is defined uh, all the way from n equals 2 and on. And they give us the values of x0 and x1 because we would need those two values in order to find that uh, value of x2. Now they're asking us to find the value of x3, but we're going to have to first find the value of x2, and then once we have that, we'll be able to find the value of x3. So we'll do all of that right after this. So plugging in 2 for x1 and 3 for x0, we can solve for x2. It would be 2 times 2 minus half times 3, so that ends up being 2 and a half. Now that we know that x2 is 2 and a half, we can plug that in as we solve for x3. So x3 would be 2 times that 2 and a half minus half times the preceding term, which we knew was 2. So 2 times 2 and a half minus half times 2, that's 5 minus 1, which is 4. So the correct answer here is C. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.